Hi there, my lovely, lovely, sleepy squirrels. I hope that you are well. This is a very special day for me. It is my mother's and my little brother's birthday today. So if you want to wish them a happy birthday, feel free to do that in the comments. I'm going to send my mama and my little brother. I'm sure my little brother will not care a bit, but I'm sure he will secretly care though, if you know what I mean. And my mom would love some happy birthdays from you guys. Okay, so today we are literally two days away from Christmas or one day away from Christmas Eve dinner celebrations if you're like the French and some other countries that celebrate on the 24th day. So I am thinking we're gonna start getting some pretty exciting So, let's start off with Blissine as per usual. And again, with the kind of full size format there, it's quite heavy. Let's have a look. A box in a box. Oh, I recognize the logo. Oh, it's the... Remember, um, it was a hair oil also. Ayurvedic hair oil, but this is not the same. Um, if I remember correctly, it was like a rose scented one, like a really strong rose one. Um, Kadi Vitality Grow Revitalizes and Supports Hair Growth, Revitalizing and Stimulating. Hair oils have a long tradition in Ayurveda. Where's Ayurveda? I feel like I'm pronouncing it wrong too. They can reduce hair loss, premature graying, and support strong growth. Also ideal to seal in hair color. Okay, I don't need all of that. What do we have? Rosemary. Thank Interesting scent and as strong as the rose one. You know what? I think what I'm gonna do because the more I think about the the rose hair oil, the scent of it, the more I think I'm not gonna be able to handle having that in my hair like for a long period of time. Like I think it was like recommended to do it like overnight or that sort of thing. So what I'm going to do, since I haven't used any of these, is I'm going to pop one into one giveaway box and one into the other. That way both of my winners will have a fancy full-size Cardi hair oil. If you're going in for this giveaway, I hope that you love strong scents because anything that is strongly scented and is not like fruit scented or mint 
is going your way. So either I hope you are somebody close to you, like strong sense. <laughs> okay, so something to intensify your eyes. Bella Pierre. That's a makeup brand. So twenty eight euros ninety nine. I don't know if I like knowing the prices of the things. Like, I feel like it's nice to know the prices in the way that you're seeing you're getting your money's worth. But like, seeing the price before you open, I feel like it sways how you feel about it, maybe. Because like that, I didn't know if it was going to be a full size or an expensive brand or not, you know. Kind of make my own mind up about it. But then seeing the price beforehand, maybe it kind of sways your judgment a bit. Not sure. Oh. Do we have a palette? We do. We have a cute little six piece palette. Oh, that's cute. It's only natural eyeshadow palette. Bella Pierre Cosmetics. It's not pretty. So, I don't know if you remember, but a few days ago I got a little palette, a little duo, um, and I said that I would pop that into the giveaway for one, and then as soon as I find another little palette, I will pop that in the other. So I think that I will pop this one into the giveaway. They look very pretty and natural shades. You have something that is going towards like the champagne colour, and then a little a darkish gold, some like, I would say this is like a bronze but with like a touch of pink and then we have some matte shades going on here. Okay, nice. So, I think Bella Pierre is an okay brand. I mean, we know the price of it, so 30 euros for six little shadows, it must be a nice brand. Okay, so on to my beautiful bones and the ingredient is cotton oh, 45 euros um beautiful box only do full size products so often they're a little more expensive just in general okay what's this oh i like a stopper a stopper a dropper brand from the beautiful boxes. I don't think I've ever had it from anywhere else. So this is Night Skin Care Nourishing and Repairing and it's for the hair. It's funny because when you get these oils it's like is it for the face? Is it for the hair? Is it for the body? Especially if this is like quite a full size product. So it is a hair oil, precious oils, concentrated cotton, lint, argan oil. It's difficult to, to read on these, especially with the lights coming from all the different directions. Okay, so it is for your hair. 45 euros of oils. Let's have a smell. I'm guessing it's not going to be super strong. It has, um, I don't know, how would I describe the scent? I'm sorry, I'm really not good at scents. Especially, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm in, in the middle of a cold right now. But I would say it has a sweet scent to it. It's not strong, but it's sweet. It smells nice. Um, I already have a hair oil that I like. So honestly, I don't know if I would use this. But it is a lovely, a lovely oil. Should I pop this one into the giveaway instead? I don't know. No, I feel like this is a better one to go into the giveaway because the two of them are the same. I don't know. Ok, 
Okay, so this one is maybe. <laughs> this one's a maybe. I don't know what I'm going to do with that one. Maybe I'll keep it for my Christmas boxes um, for my friends and family if I feel like I'm putting too many hair oils <laughs> into the boxes. I feel like there's like at least two hair oils each. Um, okay, so let's move on to Eva Hoshi. It's a cute little, um, wait, is it lavender? <laughs> it is perfume sur la lande, on the land, but land with an E at the end, like it's not another, um, I feel floral, oriental, mineral, Okay, I feel like it's not going to be for me because it seems like it's going to be a very floral scent. What do you think? It says floral on it too. Um, citrus, geranium oil. <laughs> I don't know. Let me just pop. and it's quite nice. I feel like it's, there's some like citrusy something. It's sweet and citrusy. There is something floral. This is floral oriental. Oriental floral. Okay, I'm not mad at that. Cool. Maybe that was a good thing that I, um, I spelled. It's opening me up to So let's pop on to my little box. And we have some girls taking some phone calls for Santa. Um, have you ever phoned the like the home phone? I guess we don't really do home phones anymore, but like one of the male members of the family will like go and hide and phone the home and we'll be like, oh my goodness, it's Santa on the phone. And like give the phone to the kids and see how they act. It's so funny. A lot of them get really shy. <laughs> it's really cute. Oh, Garantia. Okay. We have Oh, that's cool. It's the silky one. I love this. Um there are two of these. There's one um Diabolique Glaçon, which is diabolical. Um, I don't know why it's called that. And one is like a gel, like almost like a jelly, like a clear jelly. And then this one is more like a, a silky cream. And I've actually, I used a full one of these and then I started using the jelly one during the summer. And I was like, okay, I really want this one again. Oh, I'm really happy. That's cool. Um, I can show you it because I'm definitely going to be using it very soon. So yeah, you can see it kind of looks a bit odd. <laughs> it's like, um, I would just say it's almost like a clear brown, light creamy brown color. It all goes a long way and it's just such a nice consistency. Okay, I've just like put enough 
for my full head, so that's fine. Yeah, it smells nice. It's a really nice cream. It's a light face cream, but it's not as light as like a jelly would be. What does it say? Anti-pollution, plumping, anti-fatigue, probiotic. Would recommend this one and it's fine for sensitive skin too. I have combination skin. Mm, it smells nice. Okay, so moving on to the drawers. Look fantastic. I feel like I recognize this from the other day. Was it yesterday or the day before? Is it that? It is. But is it the same, or is it just the same, like, line? No, it's just the same line. Oh, that's cool. I now have three products from this line, and I can try, like, a full face routine with this. That's cool. This is a full size. And it's gorgeous glass. Like, frosted, peachy glass. So ESPA or ESPA, don't know how we're going to be pronouncing that, but Optimal Skin Pro Moisturizer, Nutrient Rich Hydrator for Radiant Skin. Morning and evening, after cleansing and toning, apply to fingertips and tap into face, neck and decollete until fully absorbed. Yeah, the other ones had that written on too. Okay, let's see our cream. Ooh, <laughs> I like it when it's not just white, you know, when it's just a little off white. It smells alright. It smells kind of like a, an expensive. Yeah, it's not as light as the Garantia cream. It's definitely a little richer. But, you know, it's winter, so I wouldn't say no. It smells quite nice. It's got a touch of, like, citrus or something. I didn't smell it in the pot, but it did in my hand. Okay. I think this is the kind of thing I would use as a night cream, and this is a day. I like the packaging. It's pretty. I think I, I said it looks like a 70s kitchen like countertop or something. But it goes really nicely with this peachy colour. Okay, so today was a lovely, lovely day. So far everything is and I still like that perfume. The fact that it's my mama's and my little brother's birthday has been good luck for us. We have some hair oils, some cute little eyeshadows, a perfume, and two face moisturizers. A nice silky one and a nice rich one. Everything smells lovely. <laughs> Apart from this, it doesn't smell bad, but it smells intense. It's very intense. Okay. My favorite for today, hmm, I kind of, I want to say this one or maybe this one or this one. These three are pretty, well, this one's good. I like them all. My favorite, I'm gonna say this one. Just because it's such a gorgeous, big, full-size cream that I'm looking forward to using. Like, I know I'm looking forward to using this one in the day, but I'm looking forward to, like, drenching my skin at night with this, you know? Like, it's a really cozy little treat for the winter, you know? Okay. So, not many days left, guys. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do in the next days because... We have the 24th and the 25th. 
Yeah, I didn't know they they had so many calendars with a 25th on it. I was going to do a different video for, for Christmas Day. Okay. Anyway, let's move on to the non-beauty calendars for today. Starting with the Yankee candle one. Our second last one is up here. Number 23. Let's have a look. Ah, it's the red one. That's why there's like a little touch of red on the outside. This one is called Letters to Santa. I'm not the hugest fan of this one. It's a little floral for me. But I love the fact that it's red, red, you know. There has to be like a super red candle for Christmas, you know. It's not the worst floral scent. There's something spicy to it. Like cinnamon -y or something. So let's have a little look at the tea for today. And then there were three. A premium selection of organic teas to warm in this holiday season. Okay, number 23. Post party refresh. I think this is definitely um, a double. There was one of these before. I remember seeing Garantia and thinking, oh, the brand. Um, so, organic green tea with cinnamon, Garantia, and acai berry. Let's have a sniff. Yeah, this one smells pretty nice. But I'm not surprised. Green tea, cinnamon, berry, and Garantia. Still haven't looked that up. What is Garantia? I feel like it must be a plant. <laughs> okay, so on the morning of the 23rd of December, my mama's and my little brother's birthday, I will be drinking a post party refresh. Okay, let's move on to our gemstone for today. Our second last one. Oh, I can see this nice little polished one here. And I already know what it is. It is Green Aventurine. <laughs> it's an adventure one. It's a little dusty. It has some white going through it, whereas the picture doesn't, but it's pretty obvious. A form of quartz. Characterized by its translucency and the presence of platy mineral inclusions that give it a shimmering or glistening effect. The most common color of aventurine is green and it originates in India. This is the same as um, the little ones for the bracelet. That's cool. Nice. Got quite a little collection. I'll show them all tomorrow. Okay, so let's move on to our Lego for today. Only two left, guys. And in this one, I'm guessing there is the back end of yesterday's and the day before's belt. Yeah. Oh, I didn't see that in the picture. There's like presents behind. That's That makes it cooler that there's a little green sack of presents. But... Okay, so we're gonna be building the little, I guess, bench at the back. Well, these are interesting pieces. I'm really looking at it as like a place to mine pieces. <laughs> Lego piece. Give some more power. Put this on top. 
and then the little presents spring appear back out from yesterday and then that just clips on okay so it's kind of like a, a little trailer to pop the presents in I mean that is actually pretty cool it's just a shame that it was a three-day build but I mean it's kind of cool too why not? I guess I'm just like in the other calendars I've never seen like a, a build over a few days but seeing it all together it's kind of cool I have to give them that okay so let's have a little look at the Harry Potter These go straight on after. No, they do not. No, they do not. We have some wheelies there. Maybe in the other direction. Yeah. Goes like that. That's cool. It's kind of like a, a carriage, you know. Oh, how does this work? Something under it, maybe. Not sure. This one goes behind it, though. Oh no, that one goes under. There. And then that one, that makes more sense. Because then we have two there. Okay, and then. red ones building up are really amazing. <laughs> Look at them, they're little masterpieces. <gasps> I can't wait to see tomorrow's one. What's it gonna be? I'm imagining like a Hogwarts with a sunset behind it or something. <laughs> cool. So 
So that is everything that I have to show you guys for today. I hope that you enjoy this video and this series. Only one more to go tomorrow. There will be tomorrow's video where I'm going to do all the 24th and the 25th together. And then on the 25th, I will be putting out the video giving you guys the winners, the two winners, and it will be me reading all your cute little stories, all your Christmas and winter memories. lovely for you guys to cozy up to after you've had your Christmas dinner. <laughs> you just want to sleep to some nice cozy, cozy stories. Okay, so I hope that every single one Wherever you are in the world, whatever is happening around you, I hope that you can find your own little bubble of calm. For example, if you are in Eugene, Oregon, in the USA, like And I hope that you all have a lovely day.